Yeah, for months now, thousands of Humana employees have been out of the office and not popping into businesses like this for a quick bite to eat. The foot traffic definitely helps surrounding small businesses, but I talked to some who say they've weathered the storm for two years now and they can handle whatever comes next. We wish Humana well. We will welcome them back as soon as they get back. You know, we love Humana, but we're not going to hang our hat on just one group. That's the mentality Wayne Sweeney with Merle's Whiskey Kitchen says small businesses like his need, adapt and survive. He compares it to a sports team. You're going to have injuries. You're going to have players who get hurt. Um, you have to be able to, the next man up has to step up, the next girl up has to step up. Just like every business, Sweeney says supply chain issues have caused disruptions and employees have gotten sick, but they adjust. Will you be able to wait on a ton of guests? Probably not but at least take care of the ones you do have, give them the experience they deserve. The thing we want to do is provide the against the grain experience, the best products we can, the service we can, and be great to our people. A few blocks away, against the grain co-owner Sam Cruz agrees and says adapt and survive is the name of the game. Humana's efforts to protect their employees and, and keep their businesses closed through all the COVID problems has really had an impact on our business. He says the Main Street location has cut some of its lunch and happy hours because of it. It's something Louisville Downtown Partnership Executive Director Rebecca Fleischaker isn't surprised about. Right now, downtown is a story of day and night because during the day still it's a much less um, pedestrian activity and, and folks on the street that you would have normally seen. Overall, Cruz says he's lost about 20% of his regular business over the last two years. As long as we continue to garner the support from the community and our, and our uh, loyal customers, I think we're going to be okay. Flyshaker says the resiliency of these businesses will keep them going despite obstacles. And I think that is testament to the heart of Louisville and our business community. So that's a beacon, I hope, of hope. <laughs> Louisville Downtown Partnership also says more than three times the number of businesses that closed last year opened and more than a billion dollars have been invested in and around downtown. So the confidence is definitely there. I'm live in Louisville, Bobby McSwan for the WHAS 1119 on your side.